Daisy Kiwi and today we are making a few characters from the Winx Club animated series. So this is a show about fairies, basically if you have never seen it before, but I know that a lot of people have. I personally loved the show growing up and I wanted to turn them into sims because if you know me, you know that I love taking shows from my childhood or shows that I still even love to this day and turn them into sims. And well, today <laughs> the wings have fallen a victim to that because here we are and I hope you guys won't get too mad at me for this but I'm not making all six fairies in today's episode I am cutting this up into two parts I know a lot of people hate that I personally also hate that so I do apologize for that but I just did not find the time today to make all six of them I will be making all six of them so do not worry if your favorite fairy is not here today because I will be making the other three in the next part for this it's gonna be this week still so I'll probably upload that video this Wednesday so do keep an eye out for that as well because yeah <laughs> I don't want anybody to feel left out seeing that their favorite fairy or something is not here but today we are going to be doing a bloom which is this first fairy then we'll be doing a Musa and last but not least we'll be doing Aisha today so those are the three fairies for today and then next time we'll do the other three now I did have a little bit of a hard time with these mainly with their faces because well <laughs> in the cartoons they have pretty much very similar faces and all of them have these ginormous eyes which normally not a problem for me I love to give my sims more cartoonish eyes but they are just so so big eyes that I didn't really know if I wanted to go more in the root of the cartoon and make the eyes as large or well, not really that large it would look ridiculous in the sims but just like very much larger eyes in general for the sim or a more realistic with smaller eyes so I kind of went in the middle with a larger slash not as large eyes I don't know if that makes any sense at all just like I could have made them bigger but I didn't so I feel kind of proud of, of that because usually sometimes people get mad when I make the eyes too big and I don't really know why because it's meant to be cartoonish but I I get it I get it a lot of people don't like that but I do like it a lot of times I mean with this character with the blue one that I made she does definitely have larger eyes so I like it though I think she looks so pretty and cute definitely a lot like the character I struggled the most with her and I Isha's hair with Musa. I literally, the first hair that I saw and liked, that was the one that I used. But for those two, the other two, it was really hard to find hair for them. But now we are on to Musa. She's one of my favorite fairies from the bunch. So I think growing up, Flora was definitely my favorite, probably still is to this day. And then definitely Musa, a close second. But I want to know which of the fairies is your favorite growing up versus now. And which of these sims that I'm making today do you guys like the best? They do not have to be your favorite fairy, but just the sim. So like, which one looks the most like the character or which one do you just like the most in general so I definitely think I struggled the most with the Musa's face because she has such a cute face like I said most of their faces are similar so I usually like to go on to Pinterest and search up fan art for the characters to kind of get a little looksy of what most people think their faces look like if they were more Realistic. So that's also again what I did for today's characters. So yeah, that's kind of I do that with all of them and their faces were very much different then. So if you guys ever struggle with making sims from characters, that's definitely a tip from me. Go on to Pinterest and look for fan art for the character and that'll definitely help you find more realistic faces for the characters. So yeah, with Musa, I definitely struggled the most with her face. 
because she has this really cute face. But then when I switched between Bloom and Musa whilst making them, her face just felt so small, but it looked weird when I made it bigger. So then I tried making Bloom's face smaller, but then that looked weird. So I just accepted the fact that they were gonna have vastly different head sizes. <laughs> and I don't know why it bothered me so much when making them, but for some reason the fact that Bloom's head was so much bigger than Musa's was just a little weird to me. So I just made Musa shorter to make up for the fact that her head looked so small. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, it just made sense in my head at the time. And also with Musa, something that I never really noticed until making this sim, but the fact that they mixed red and purple with her, it's such a weird color, like color combination, but it works somehow, like it looks so good on her. I feel like it took me a while to get used to when making the sim, I was so not used to seeing reds and purples together, but it does look pretty cute in the end. I definitely do like how she turned out. I don't know who my favorite character for today is, like that I made. I think I'd probably have to say Aisha. I definitely love how she turned out the most, I think. Like, Musa, to me, again, close second. I love her outfit and stuff, but I do have to say that I think Aisha definitely turned out the best for me, at least. But definitely do still let me know which one of these you like the best. But now, last but not least, we are on to Aisha. So, she was also pretty hard to make hair -wise because I knew, I knew that I had a hair that was so similar to the one that she has in the show, but I could not for the life of me find it. It probably took me like maybe 10 to 15 minutes just to find the hair that I was looking for, but I did luckily find it in the end. I also luckily sped up and cut out a lot of the search, so this video would not be two hours long, even if it is sped up, because usually I don't take this long when making my sims. Like, I was so, so fully prepared to make all six of these sims in today's video, but I just, when I looked at the time, when it was done with Aisha, I just knew that I did not have enough time to do the rest of the sims in today's video. There would just, it would have been impossible for me to finish this video up in time if I had made all six of them and I definitely was not about to make four sims today and then just two for the next video or something like that you know so I definitely wanted to make three three so that it would be equal instead of like making five today and leaving one of them out or making four and then it just would not have felt right to me so yeah again I am so sorry for those of you who hate two-part videos I know that I myself do not like them that much it depends obviously if like context of the video it does depend but if it was a video like this I would have been so sad to see that it was two parts but yeah it's out of my control but this is the hair that I was talking about it is so perfect to the hair that she has in the show obviously a lot shorter but it is that exact style with like the two little ponies things in the front with the two little bands across the hair tips like that pink little hair band and it is also pink which is also the color that she has so it definitely worked out in my favor the time that I spent searching for the hair totally worth it but yeah that is basically everything that i have for you guys for today so definitely do let me know what you guys think about these fairies and maybe you guys didn't notice but these are modernized so they are in like casual clothing not like their fairy styles if that makes any sense and they are also in my style so yeah do keep that in mind of course but like i was saying if you guys enjoyed this video please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel and I will definitely see you all in another video. Thank you all so so much for watching. Goodbye everybody. Mm -hmm.